Hey Virgo, this is Soul Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. Virgo, this is going to be your general love and relationship focus reading for the month of May 2016. Okay, Virgo, let's get right into your messages for the upcoming month. For some Virgos that I'm reading for, some of you have the potential of dealing with the energy of the Queen of Swords in the upright position. So this Queen, male or female, some of you have to uh, make a some of you are making decisions are going to be making decisions related to uh, love and relationships. I'm not covering any other areas or aspects of your life. So this is just strictly on love and relationships. So some of you have to make a decision or will be making a decision about uh, a relationship. This could be uh, having to make a decision to uh, end a relationship. Uh, or it could be just making a, de a decision overall about which direction you wish your relationship to uh, move forward in. Some of you are dealing with uh, air sign energies, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, male or females. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a direct air sign. It could be that they have some sort of air elements in their birth chart. Having to make a decision about a relationship. Then being determined and sticking to that um, decision that you make. Good or bad. So... The month for you, Virgo, um, relates to having to make decisions um, in terms of which direction that you wish to move forward. And this is not just for couples. This is for singles, too, having to make a decision about which direction that you want to go in terms of possibly connecting with someone in the future. Um, I don't know, maybe having to redo, rethink the way that you um, have been putting yourself out there. And it, you know, either was working or it wasn't working and then having to make, uh, make a decision about changing uh, certain things about doing things differently. OK, <clears throat> what's crossing that uh, King of Swords is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is all about the Aces are fresh starts, new beginnings, by the way. And this could involve uh, the decision in making about a relationship for the Virgos that I'm reading for, because the Pentacles represent you, Earth sign. So it could have been that something happened recently. Uh, a connection was made, um, possibly with another uh, Earth sign or that air sign that I'm speaking of. And then you having to make a decision about, like I said, moving forward or which direction that you want to move forward. Uh, and in terms of um, love and relationships. But this is all about... Uh, new beginnings an offer of love something just started there was a new connection for the Virgo that I'm reading for Virgos are two that I'm reading for there was a new connection with a relationship either with a another earth sign or an air sign okay so that's good energy distant past six months going back to a year and I like to keep the flow of energy going in terms of the reading so some of you uh, you know was met with some sort of misfortune uh, now we have the will of fortune in the reverse uh, major arcana major life events so I like it though in the reverse because it's overcoming that misfortune uh, or mishap Related to love and relationship, maybe a relationship that you were in didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to. Um, and this is why this card shows up. Some of you may have, you know, in the recent past six months going back to a year felt like you you know, you just ran out of luck in terms of connecting with someone new. OK, so there's two messages here. Overcoming a misfortune or mishap related to a disappointment uh, involving a relationship. And having to overcome an emphasis of thinking that you ran into some sort of bad luck or wasn't having any good luck connecting with someone in terms of love and relationships. Yesterday, going back to six months now, we have the King of Wands. So this is uh, male and female energy. So some of you may have entered into a relationship because this is the court card so i see that as an actual person some of you may have entered into a relationship during this time frame uh with the fire sign leo sagittarius aries or wait a minute now leo sagittarius or aries male or female okay um 
if so, then this this individual was very, you know, passionate, passionate, very, uh, you know, I, I always get when it's the king or queen, high sexual energy. So it could be that you connected with someone who was a fire sign and the sex was so damn intense, you know, it had your feet curling or something, you know, and I'm not trying to be funny, you know, sex with a fire sign is always going to put you in that kind of <laughs> that kind of element or that kind of mood because they are very passionate, intense individuals. So, uh, and I'm not making fun of you and or this reading. I'm just getting a lot of sexual energy, high energy related to this uh, fire sign that some of you may have connected with or in a relationship with. Okay. Yesterday going back to six months and there's a lot of creativity. So maybe you were or they were exercising something or exposing something new to you in terms of creativity in the bedroom, okay? So it can go both ways. But this individual was very passionate, motivated, and very intense sexually in a good way, not a bad way. All right, so <clears throat> moving forward, going out into the future now, Virgo, now we have the Four of Swords. So some of you want to be taking a rest period. Uh, some of you may be taking a rest period away from uh, relationships, or if not away from relationships, just, you know, taking a rest from conflict and having to deal with strife related to uh, someone that you're dating or in a relationship with. Again, I get the air sign since it is the swords. And remember, your energy started off with the uh, queen of swords. So um, some of you are dealing with Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, male or females. But it's just overcoming. I don't see this as a negative card, Virgo. I just see you... Some of you may have been dealing with some sort of strife or conflict uh, with a partner or someone that you were dating. And now going into the month of May is calming down of that energy. OK, taking a step back and resting, rejuvenating or whatever you want to call it and taking a break, basically. All right. So the next card up is the high priestess. Now, the high priestess is in uh, reverse. OK, so, you know, the high priestess relates to relationships, too, because it is the number two uh, in the uh, numerology of the tarot. Uh, so being it in the uh, reverse, some of you are overcoming some sort of. Um, actually, now I'm going to get. Some of you are overcoming having to deal with some sort of body image distortion. Uh, and I say that because some of you may have been spending, you know, an extra amount of time in the mirror thinking you're not sexy enough, you're not good enough, um, whatever the situation is, just spending time in that mirror, but it's, you're comfortable now with your body, uh, you're comfortable with your skin. So this is why the high priestess uh, is showing up in the reverse. It's an overcoming that body image distortion that you may have had. Now I connect that with love and relationships because of course, everybody wants to have that drop dead body to you know attract or you know not only to attract but just to um for your own mental and for your own personal reasons you know everyone wants to have a nice body um but it's overcoming that but i relate that there's a situation some of you may not be relying on your intuition this month and I know I had gotten a comment from someone who was a Virgo to sort of, you know, Virgos being intuitive. Everyone is intuitive. It's just that other signs tap into it a lot more and easier. But everyone has an intuition. So some of you may not be relying on your intuition this month to help you out. Um, the only thing that I can say in terms of that message is if you're presented with a problem, or a situation with love and relationships, especially if you're meeting someone new with the Ace of Pentacles showing up. Go by what you first get. That is the correct answer. Always the correct answer. Okay. Um, then you have another major arcana, Virgo, the world card. So this is in the upright. And I like this major life event. So when we're talking about love and relationship, there's the opportunities that are about. This is all about new opportunities and not so much new opportunities uh, in terms of the ones who are already coupled. So it could be that, you know, 
something different happens within the relationship or the dating uh, aspect uh, with an individual. Uh, but there is the new opportunities um, being presented to you this month to meet someone new, connect with someone new. And then our, I feel that strengthening existing relationships, just maybe something else that comes along that um, if some of you are in a relationship and you felt like, you know, was stagnant or something, maybe something is presented this month to uh, take away that stagnation. So it's all about opportunities. Uh, in terms of connecting with someone new and then releasing of any stagnant energies and existing relationships. So I like that. Now we, oh shit, you have like three major arcanas lined up in a row. Okay, now we have judgment. So this is upright too. Uh, you know, major arcana, major life events. So this judgment, I like the judgment um, because I read the judgment differently. So there is either, for some Virgos that I'm reading for, uh, something that you aren't aware of, it will be known this month or come to the forefront. Whatever is kept in the dark comes to the light. Then it's you, Virgo, and particularly um, two messages attached to this. What I'm about to say is you becoming less judgmental towards others or someone that you're in a relationship with or, you know, are dating. And it goes the other way them being less judgmental and criticizing of you. And this also applies to um, self critic uh, cri excuse me, self-criticizing and being judgmental and hard on yourself. So I feel that there's going to be some sort of ease up with you being less judgmental towards self and towards others. And that same energy is going to be applied towards you from others as well. But the most important thing is that something that was in the dark comes to the light and it doesn't necessarily have to be negative. It could be positive as well. All right. So next up, uh, Virgo, we have the page of swords. So there's that quickness of something, having to make a decision, having to make a quick decision. So this is what this page represents is having something um, to decide on that maybe is presented uh, to you. And like I said before, it's a lot of decision making for some of you in the beginning of the uh, month and throughout the month. And maybe there was some sort of reason why you couldn't have made uh, a decision about a relationship until like near the end. But it's whatever it is that comes to you is made quickly. OK. And this is also uh, emphasizing that relationship. Uh, for the Virgos, single Virgos that I'm reading for that could occur. The newness of the page, something new comes in. So it's a, um, a clearing of energy. But something comes in fast in a good way. Oh, and even to support what I just said, here we go. We got the eight of wands now. That's all about. And this is in the forms of uh, I see this is uh, in the forms of communication. So some of you are going to and it's in the upright. So I like that even more. So some of you are dealing with fire sign energy. Some of you may connect with a fire sign this uh, potential uh, month. Leo, Sagittarius or Aries, especially with the page of swords. It sits next to the page of swords. And then we have the opportunity, the world card showing up for the opportunities. So I feel that there is a for some Virgos that I'm reading for a relationship going into the tail end of the month starts quickly, possibly with a fire sign. If it's not a direct fire sign, they have fire sign energies in their birth chart. So this is a pretty good month uh, for the Virgos that I'm reading for. But I already sense that there's Virgos dating or in a relationship with fire signs with the king of wands showing up in the uh, recent past but the newness of something new or connecting with someone new this month um, is with the ace of pentacles something being offered to you you having to make a decision about possibly that offer Making a decision further down by the tail end of the month comes in quick, connecting with someone new. That's a fire sign, possibly. And then also, too, with the Eight of Wands, Virgo, some of you are going to receive those uh, 
you know, those messages of love could be, you know, hello, I was thinking of you. Hi, I miss you. I love you. Whatever. Something comes in in a good way. Um, so some of you need to or will be expecting great communication and someone expresses themselves in a loving way towards you. This is not family or friends. This is specifically dating and relationships, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So this is a pretty good month that I'm feeling energy-wise for some Virgos. All right, so the um, that's your reading. But what I have selected for you uh, to support your reading for my own uh, created deck, Souls Love Oracle, some of you, uh, and this is uh, two messages here for you, Virgo. Some of you have to be mindful of being cold or distant towards, you know, a lover or someone that you're dating. Okay. Then the other message, Virgo, for you is that some of you may experience someone being cold or distant towards you. Okay, so it goes two ways. Uh, this is the card of cold and distance. Either you being cold or distant to someone in a love relationship or someone you're dating or someone being cold or distant uh, to you. So if you see this video and you see that or feel that energy, you know, uh, approaching or you're dealing with it, the emphasis is not to allow yourself to succumb to it. Okay. All right, so that's what I have for you, Virgo. Once again, I want to thank you for visiting my uh, channel. I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming month ahead, full of love, of course. And until the next time, I wish you all love and light. Take care, Virgos. Bye.